winter time, cold, wet, and windy. I'm gonna show y'all step by step how to go out here and catch your crappy lemon fast. Wanna get back home where it's nice and warm. Y'all stay tuned for that. Welcome to Walking on Water. I'm Anthony. My channel is about fishing, fellowship, and faith. See, God created this world for us and gave us all the senses we need to dwell here. I'm just trying to show you another way, the way he intended. If this interests you, then I'll tell you like Christ told Simon Peter, follow me and I'll make you a fisherman of men. Facts. So are you coming? <laughs> Method works. Always stay close to the promises of God. Welcome back to another episode of Walking on Water. We out here once again, Jordan Lake. Winter time, it's gonna be raining all day. It's cold and windy. Wind's gonna be 15 to 20 most of the day. Today, it's gonna be a how-to, step-by-step, -step, how I go out in these type of conditions and catch my limit fast. Let's get right into it. So step number one, when the water is looking like chocolate milk or coffee, you gotta find cleaner water. That's the first step. Let's go get them. Another quick tip, when you're running in flooded water, be careful of all the timber. It's gonna be debris floating all over the place. So keep your eyes on it. Don't need to be hitting no stumps, no trees, or any of that stuff. Gotta be safe on this water. So I found cleaner water. The reason you want to find cleaner water when you get in this situation is because crappy or visual feeders, most, just like most fish, bass, catfish, uh, all the species, if you find clearer water, you're gonna find more fish. Just wanna show you all this water, a lot cleaner. All right, y'all step two. Got cleaner water, now wind direction. You want to fish wind-blown banks or fish in the direction the wind is blowing because all the debris, all that stuff is going to be pushed or uh, collected in one area. You got bugs and all that type of stuff that fish can feed on. And another thing is 
all your zooplankton that's floating on top of the water is being blown to one side of the lake. Bait fish eat zooplankton and phytoplankton. So that's their food source. All right, so we got the wind is blowing that way. That's the bank. So th this is what I'm talking about. The wind is going towards that bank over there. Now, I'm sitting in 24 foot of water. I'm gonna let y'all see that. I'm gonna show y'all, you see? This here is bait. When looking like them bait is right at, what, 20 foot? About 20 foot. Just turning around. And look at that, a wall of bait. I want y'all to see that coming in there. 15 feet, up to 10 feet. Just big balls of bait. The bait fish gotta eat too. So we know the depth is from anywhere from 10 foot to 20 foot. Now I'm in nine foot of water. I want y'all to see that map. Now I want flats and points like right here. So this is where I want to scan to find my fish. Over here there's fish on bottom at 10 feet deep right there. But I need to go deeper because the bait fish there we go, look at here. We got fish coming in as we get in deeper water. On bottom, that could be crappy. Uh, the size of them fish probably is crappy. And you can tell the down them and show those dots right there too. And so that was right in about 12 foot of water. And so that's where I'm gonna focus in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on a slope like here, just a point. I'm gonna focus on that flat area. And that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, y'all, so we got step number two. We already know wind direction. Step number three, we're gonna use side imaging to find schools that's in that 12 to 18 foot range. We're gonna try to find schools of crappy 12 to 18 foot going across this flat. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. I want y'all to see that. See all those black dots right over here? Let me bring this cursor over to it and zoom in on it. See all that? That school's a crappy right there across this flat. And that's, it says about 67 foot to my left. And so that's where I'm going to start out. We've just located a school. That's what it looks like. And so I'll zoom back out. And so, you see on this side, you don't see no, no dots or anything, but on this side, you can see the dots. That's school of crappy. Time to fish. All right, I wanna show y'all this. I'm gonna start out with a 116 with a gray and clear body. And because of the sky, I like to match my color uh, towards whatever color the sky is. So. If you got a brighter sky, I want a brighter color. But the darker the sky, the darker the color I want to use. So I got that natural color. Then I'll use something like that. Just natural. That brown. I love these colors for dark skies. Making a mess over here, but y'all see it. We're going to start out with that 1 16th. Now I typically use a 132nd, but today I'm gonna use a 116th just cause it's, we got a whole lot more wind. And this this jig, I wanna keep it on the bottom. And so it falls down uh, two foot per second, 116th. I'm gonna repeat that, two foot per second. So I'm gonna cast it out. We in 14 foot of water, that's a seven second count. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna wind it up, see what we can do. All right, so basically, I'm just going to do a, I'm going to cast about 30 feet, 35, 40 feet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hit bottom, slow wind back. Got him. Oh. 
got some good fish to start off with. Y'all see him. First one going into the box. Cast it out. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slow wine. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let y'all see it. Another good one. Nice thick. Nice back on him. He wanted it. Looking him out. He wanted that. All right, let's put him in the box. Cast it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wind up the slack, slow wind. Got him. That was a quick hit. That was a quick hit. Another good fish. There we go. Y'all see him. Drop him in that basket. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I'll do a seven since it was a fast bite last time. Oh, got him. Okay. Another good one. Come on up here. I'm going to stop that. Seven count. As y'all see him. Tip the camera. Pretty fish. He's a keeper. And that was on that seven count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slow line. Got him. He's fighting. Another good one. Get up here. I'll see him. Pretty fish. He will definitely go in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got him. He's not going to make it. Has to be 10 inches here at Jordan Lake, and you can only keep 20. Got him. That's a good one. 
that's definitely a better one. That's what I see it. Good fish, pretty fish. He wanted it. She lost down. He got it in there. Got the right color on. Let's put him in a box. A good one, good fish. Nice big fish. Thick. Oh yeah. Put him in the box. All right, y'all. I want to take this time to kind of change colors just to see how well this color will do. It's natural. Let y'all see it. Just gonna switch to this. Matter of fact, I need to take some of those fish out. Let's put the uh, big ones in the cooler. So let me do that. All right, so I gotta get these fish out of here. Let y'all see them. some good ones of course we're gonna keep these ones right here there's some slabs <laughs> you know I'm gonna get a count on them put them in the cooler put those small ones leave this I'm gonna leave those small ones in the basket and we gonna keep fishing okay so I got nine over 11 inches so far and six in the basket those are too small they're gonna be released Need 11 more for our limit. Like I mentioned before, we're gonna switch to that head there. I mean, switch to this color. See how it do. Just gonna cast it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got him. He ain't gonna make the cut. I'm not gonna make the cut. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna call another 10 fish, but I only got, out of that 10, I only got two keepers, because I know they over 11 inches. I'm trying to keep 11 and up, I'll let y'all see them. Slabs. I'm gonna put these in the box, and then, man, I'm ready to move. I'm gonna check some other slopes. I'm gonna let these guys here go, y'all see them. Go ahead and let them go. This is also one of the reasons why I typically don't fish Jordan Lake too much because hell, I done caught about 35 fish and I'm, I got like 11 keepers. That's over 11 inches. If I was at Sharon Harris, I'd be done already. <laughs> it's been about an hour and a half. And so I'm gonna find another flat, see if we can hit them. Y'all stay with me. The sun came out, so I figure I go with this blade, throw it on the bottom, pull it, uh, wind it in real slow, see if we can catch them that way. Just hit bottom, wind it up real slow. I just had a bump, but it fall back down. Got 
Got him. Run in real slow. Cast it out there. Probably about 60, 70 feet. Let it fall to the bottom. It's on bottom. Wind it up real slow. Pause. Got him. It don't feel that big. perch got the white perch throw them in that basket but what I like to do with the blade I let it hit bottom and once it hit bottom I give it one quick snap and I'll just wind it real slow, just like a jig. Pause and wind. I keep getting hits. Got him. catching it. It's about a seven or eight count to the bottom. And wind up real slow. Got him. I'll see him. Put him in the basket. All right, it's on bottom. <clears throat> Pop it off the bottom. Wind it in. Slow on. Got him. Feels like a better one.
let it hit bottom. <clears throat> Just hit bottom, one pop, slow wind. Oh, missed him. Fall. Got him. Felt like a perch. Yep, exactly what it was. A little perch. Watch y'all see him. I'm gonna throw him back. All right, y'all. I'm pretty sure I made it to my limit. Only needed six more. Y'all see it? Oh yeah. Some good ones. Definitely some good ones. Oh yeah. Go in the box. in this cooler to make sure I got my count right. <laughs> Let me double check. So, okay. <clears throat> Three more. That's another good one. Now that I got my 20, the rest of those, let y'all see them. The rest of those go back. <laughs> you got stuck. <laughs> Check out that cooler. That's 20. All on good slabs. 11 inches or better. All in all, we had a great day on the water. Got my limit of 20 fish. Only took about three and a half hours. So hey, I ain't complaining. Caught a lot of fish today. Probably about 60. Y'all got to see me throw back a whole lot. It just wasn't big enough looking for 11 and up today with my live scope the lvs 32 being broke i haven't been able to show y'all how i use it yet but i ordered the lvs 34 it should be coming in the mail pretty soon probably on the next video i'll be showing y'all how i spot fish suspended fish during the winter time they typically suspend a lot so i'm gonna get to show y'all that once i get the new transducer any questions you can drop them in the comments below i hope these little tips and tricks that i use today are going to help you out on the water i also want to add to all my subscribers man i, I appreciate y'all supporting what i do and remember y'all be blessed <laughs>